Now, this is where it becomes a lot more powerful. All right, this is where it becomes a lot more powerful. Stay with me on this one. So we had all of this processing, but now we can qualify. Now we can say, is this a hot lead or a bad lead? And so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in another action. And this time my action is gonna be an if else action. And so I'm gonna say, if hot lead, we're gonna do this. If bad lead, we're gonna do this. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the GPT response. There we go. And we're gonna say, if it is hot lead, then, then it's a hot lead. We're gonna duplicate this branch so that we can say, you know, bad lead as well. Have that be an option. So bad lead. All right, and then I'm just gonna look at this, make sure that's what I said, bad lead, hot lead, perfect. So now, if it's a hot lead, it's gonna do all these things. And if it's a bad lead, it might do nothing. Why do we want it to do nothing in this case? Maybe it's because ChatGPT processing that costs us money, sending us an email to a client costs us money, sending a text to the client costs us money. You know, or maybe if we're really wise about this, we can duplicate all of this, all of these actions, and, th and just change this a little bit, okay? Generate a reply based on the client response below. Keep in mind, this is a bad lead and may need some nurturing such as asking key follow-up questions. There we go. So now we can process a bad lead differently than we might process a hot lead. 